You know, we are making progress as more vaccines get out there to deal with the virus. But a startling statistic uh, today that makes you think about, uh, you know, we're not out of the proverbial medical woods yet. The U.S. as, as a whole now is more than 6,600 known cases of these various variants. You hear much of talk about Florida alone has more than 1,000 of them. How big a threat uh, are they going to be? Do all the vaccines deal with all of these threats? Uh, let's go to Admiral Brett Girard, of course, the former Health and Human Services Secretary in the uh, Trump administration. Admiral, very good to have you with us. Thank you for taking the time. Great to be with you. Um, let me first ask you about these variants. Obviously, you were aware of them in office, and, and uh, you know, you have to keep an eye on them, obviously. It's not unusual for virus to have mutations and variants. Is this more than that, though? How would you describe what's going on, and should we be worried? Well, we really should be concerned. I don't know if it's a worry yet, but it is a concern. Right now, we know that the British variant is more contagious, and it may be slightly more harmful, particularly in the youths. The real question is, do the vaccine cover all the variants? The data we have right now is that the three vaccines we have in the United States provide a sufficient cushion of protection. So they really overprotect you that we can overcome even the worst variants like the South African ones. Um, that's what we think right now. That's what the data suggests, but we don't know that for 100% absolute truth. We will know that very soon as we get more data on vaccines and protection. But right now, I think we're in good shape, need to be cautious, need to be concerned, because variants are the curveball that we have, to, we have to hit out of the park. You know, you've heard of some of the concerns around AstraZeneca's vaccine that it might have had uh, outdated data when getting approval for that vaccine. New trial data is, is, is a lot more promising, but a lot of Americans have looked at this, Secretary, to say, this is why I'm not running to get a vaccine. What do you tell them? Well, uh, I think you saw that the system works today. AstraZeneca announced their top line data, which looked very good. Uh, the Independent Data Safety and Monitoring Board said uh, maybe not so fast. We're not sure if the data is complete. So Americans should be confident that the Independent Data Safety and Monitoring Board, as well as the FDA, have the American people's backs at all times. What I suspect happened, and I, again, I don't know, is that AstraZeneca reported on fully vetted, uh, fully uh, double-checked, triple-checked data that's probably a month or six weeks old, and there may be new data that's come out that may be le slightly less effective. We don't know. Um, this will be worked out in the next 48 hours, but Americans should understand this is the way the system works with double and triple checks, including the DSMB and the FDA, to make sure that everything's square up and up and Americans tr can trust the vaccines that are authorized. Secretary, when you look at what's been going on in Miami with these large, um, you know, uh, college break crowds um, that are defying, you know, a lot of rules and regulations in a place by the Miami mayor, do you worry that that could become the new breeding ground, that it could, could risk becoming a super spreader event and lead to still other spikes in cases elsewhere? There's no evidence of that as yet, still early, but what do you think? Well, of course it's a risk, and of course I'm concerned. And look, I've been very bullish about opening up the economy and really dialing that dialer up so people can travel, particularly if they've been vaccinated. People should have gatherings. Everyone should be in school. But what we saw in Miami was really over the top. You know, there were, uh, at least by the photos, thousands of people very close together. It's very unlikely that the demographic there have been vaccinated, so clearly they could pass the virus, including variants. And while young people are not at high risk, what we always worry about is those people going to their grandparents um, and others, and that's really of a concern that could have a secondary spread. So we, we are really concerned about that. And while the country is in much better shape and vaccines are rolling out tremendously fast, we're not ready to have thousands of people in a crowd uh, potentially spreading virus, including variants. Uh, we're just not quite ready for that. Uh, we have to get more vaccines on board, particularly to the older and to the vulnerable. All right. Uh, Secretary Gerard, thank you very, very much. The former Health and Human Services Assistant Secretary under President Donald Trump uh, on these developments.